What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Jesus. Jeez, that was quick. Welcome back to, <laughs> to Game Over, Gurkha, man. I've got some wolves I've got to take care of here. Um, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing quite well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, uh, yeah. Well, we're about to do our first real dungeon. First real proper classical dungeon with keys and all that shit. And, you know, hopefully it'll be a good time. It'd be an even better time if Link climbed faster than fucking well, like molasses sliding down a wall or something. That's okay. It could be a lot worse. Could be much, much worse. Anyway, yeah, I hope you're all doing good. I'm sure this episode, I know many of the episodes uh, recently have been quite short. Um, I imagine that these dungeon episodes, even if I am splitting the dungeons into two by this point of the game, will be quite, quite a bit longer, but I guess I won't know until I hit the editing, hit the editing room. Well, most of them anyway, I know that the, uh, fire temple can be a little time consuming sometimes, and I know the water temple will definitely be time consuming. Um, I'm not one of those people that dreads the water temple, I, I think it's very tedious and quite boring because of having to switch the boots on and off. Um, but I think the actual dungeon itself in terms of design is actually quite good. Just a little just a little uninteresting thanks to constantly having to go into the menu. But uh, I do know that the... Well really the... Uh, the, the, sh the was it the shadow temple is not too bad? It's It's very straightforward and quite easy and not all that long, and neither is the Light Temple, actually, now I think about it. But yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go with these dungeon episodes. They, like I said, they will more than likely be the longest episodes in the series by quite a margin. Look at them go. Bye, ghosties. See you guys later. I really like this dungeon, actually. It's one of my... It's probably, out of all the temples, it's the one that feels most like a actual temple. So that's that's a plus in its favor. I always forget which way to go first, but I mean, I think this is one of the ones where there's a little bit of freedom in terms of which order you go through things. So I guess that isn't really that big of a deal. But yeah, the, out of all the, of all the temple, well, this and the water temple, the only two temples that really feel like temple oh, and the light temple. All right, three of the five temples feel like temples. The fire temple doesn't really feel like a temple to me, at least. And I can tell you right now that the uh, shadow temple doesn't feel at all like a temple. It just feels like a kind of miserable little place. Uh, but yeah, this place. Uh, actually, I'm surprised the textures on these bricks. I mean, they're obviously by today's standards are pretty terrible, but. You know what it is? It's because they're not stretched to all fuck. I'm so used to the textures in this game uh, being stretched to absurd degrees and looking hideous because of that. But uh, these textures actually... They've kept them at a reasonable size because they're bricks. And so they don't look completely fucking atrocious. Sometimes this game could still surprise, you know? Not often, but sometimes. Just keep pushing. There's gonna be a lot of this in this episode, I can tell you that much. This is the pushing episode, where everything gets pushed around a whole bunch. I don't think the Fire Temple has uh, that many block pushing puzzles. I don't think the Water Temple has any that I can remember at least. I mean, I'm sure it has a couple, but yeah, I really don't. I don't remember. Weird. How y'all doing today anyway? Did I already ask that? Well, I'm gonna ask again. I hope you're all doing well. I'm, uh, I think once I'm done doing my recording here, I'm probably going to make some eggs for breakfast. It'll be a more of a brunch really by the time I get to it, but... Well, maybe not. No, it's only quarter to nine. I won't be a brunch. This temple isn't that long. Alright, so I've got two options right now. I opened up this ladder here, which I think I'll go up first. I still, I'm still very impressed by the quality of the emulation of these games. Playing them on the Wii U, they do look a big, substantial, large amount better than 
they used to. I'm so glad that the uh, the Wii U upscales it. It's not something I've seen people talking about online or like being thankful for. They could have done what the Wii did and just ran it at 480p resolution, but they didn't. They knew that that would look kind of shit on the huge ass modern TVs, and so they added upscaling, and no one's really thanked Nintendo for that. And I want to thank Nintendo for it. Other people might not have noticed it and appreciated it, but I'm here to tell you, Nintendo, that I noticed and appreciated it. So thank you for upscaling these games. I don't know how much work it was, but I'm, uh, I'm glad that you guys went to the effort of doing it. Many thanks. Like, there's not that many Nintendo 64 games on the Virtual Console. I did play through Paper Mario on the Virtual Console on here, and that was a, uh... Looked very nice, I will say. Those are both Paper Mario games. Uh, Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Year Doors are games that I'm planning on doing Let's Plays on one day, eventually. I actually have, like, a, a document which just has a list of all the games that I want to replay on it, basically. It's it's not my list of games I want to replay. I mean, of games for Game Over Go Command. It's literally my list of games I just want to play through a second time. Because that's my rule now. Uh, outside of the Dark Souls series, which I will replay as many times as I fucking want, um, if I want to replay a game in order to justify it, I need to record it. That's my system that I'm going to be working with. Oh, really? I came here and I couldn't come here yet. I need another key. I should have gone a different way. Well, damn. I'm gonna go back down to the main room. At least all this stuff's out of the way now. I don't have to do that again. So that'll at least save some time. Ugh, what a pain. Look at that. Beautiful save there. Amazing. Amazing stuff. By Dan. Fully pro at the Zelda. Competitive Zelda player. Give me, give me, give me, drop some hearts. Nope, nothing. Alright. I can deal. I can deal with it. Now, since that was the way that... I can't say I went the wrong way. Because there's multiple options here from the get-go. But, probably wasn't the best route to take. I'm also not a big fan of these blocks where you have to play the Song of Time in front of them. I mean, I'm fine with them now because I know they're there and I know what they do, but I remember once again going back to my story of my first playthrough, like, encountering that, Navi gives a, a vague hint, but there's no reason, like, logically it doesn't make sense for you to be like, oh, I'll play a song and that will magically vanish. Like, this game's full of that stuff and it bugs me. Even though I, I'm fine with it now, because it, it's not an issue, it bugs me because as a kid, that didn't make any fucking sense to me. But I'm bugged by things that bugged me as a kid. Because I'm a man-child. I never grew up. And I, eesh, gross spiders. Uh, spiders here in Canada are pretty weak. They're not a particularly... anything to write home about. Like, I've seen some people complaining about big spiders here, and I looked at those spiders, and they were like the tiniest little... little things you've ever seen in your life. Like, the, the least imposing things you can possibly imagine. Now, I think that's something I have to do... Even though I've played through this game a million times, I still, like, I'm always like, ah, what do I have to do to get this thing to... Like, I have to drain that... I have to drain that well in order to get down into it, and I've forgotten how to do that. So I'm going to assume it has something to do with coming up here where these spiders were defending, since this is the only other way I can really go. I like the fact after all these years though, I'm still... Ugh. Still like in a position where I have to, you know, solve these problems, work these things out. These guys aren't so bad as long as you uh oh, oh, that was close. Cheeky bastard. Alright, this is the right way. I'm making progress. Uh, take that. Really? That oh oh that's right, I think this is either the map or the compass. 
Yeah, this is one of the, it's still a linear temple, but it's one of the less linear temples. Um, I think Ocarina of Time has a good mix of both, like, the, uh, Shadow Temple is incredibly linear. It's literally just, like, pretty much a straight line. But, uh, this one, yeah, like I said, has uh, multiple different ways you can pretty much go from the start. Which is cool. But I'm glad they don't do that with every temple. I think the fire temple is very linear too, actually. There's only X amount of ways you can... I think you can only go like one particular way with the fire temple. Oh yeah, so the, the well drains... This is a different room to where I was the first time. That's right. So this is the opposite side. I'm just trying to make a map in my mind. Make a mind map. Get out of here, creepy weird guy. Eh, there you go, now you're dead. And I should have been watching what was happening around me. But I wasn't. And this guy's gonna kill me, because I'm an idiot. Sloppy, incredibly sloppy play right there by Dan. Oh, can I reach that spider from here? Nope. Hookshot's got such a short reach. You get an item later on in the game, for those who don't know, the Water Temple's uh, big item is actually just a longer version of the item that I'm currently using. Which is, oh, about as exciting as it sounds. It actually opens up some pretty cool possibilities, but it's... Opening up some pretty cool possibilities doesn't make it an exciting item. And I do feel like if, you, if your items don't excite people, in a game like this, and you've, you've done, kind of done something a little bit wrong. But whatever. Give me that, give me that token. Token of your appreciation. Alright, now let's go down the well. Because there's another key down the well, and then I used that in that room that I was originally. <laughs> yeah, this temple to me, it's always like, it kind of like, it starts off really slow, and then that you reach a certain point and it kind of like snowballs and it all starts going by very, very quickly, or at least that's how I've always felt about it. I really like the music in it though, it's super atmospheric. I love me some atmospheric music. Ain't no doubt about that. Yeah, I got a key. That's what I needed. So that should be all I need to get into the next thing, I think. I could exit- whoa, that was a weird graphical glitch there, I don't know if anyone else saw that. Definitely a little bit strange, not really meant to be happening. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't trust you plant, so I'm going to do that and then run away! Ugh. I'm burping because I'm a little bit hungry. Get the hungry burps. Does anyone else burp when they're hungry? Or is that just a me thing? It could just be a me thing, I don't know. I have some very strange me things about me. Alright, let's kill this guy again. <sighs> I'm gonna meet you guys back up at the top of this room because there's no point in making you uh, watch me climb it twice. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to subject you to that. That'd be a silly waste of time. Alright, we are back. We've got a key. Let's go through this door and see what we get. What magic. This corridor is all twisted. Well, no fucking shit. I do love this effect, though. It looks really cool. I know, like, I'm probably overcomplicating it in my head. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh, wait, is there another? God fucking damn it. Ugh. All right, back to the main chamber. I always forget that it's three keys that you need in order to get into that fucking fucking room. Every time, every time I play through it, I always keep going straight to that room and being like, oh yeah, this is it. 
Um, so there's a door there, so I guess I could go through there next. I think in here, I need the arrow to open that up. And I can't get up there, so yeah, this is definitely where I need to go. Ah, uh, I can't blame anyone but myself, but it happens, it literally happens every, every single time I play through the game, I end up fucking that up. Like clockwork. I'm such a fool! Give me that. Yeah, gold sculptor is mine. Huh, <sighs> oh well. Hey, what's up? Uh, you're dead now. Is what's up? Hot? Nope. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I think I just killed these guys and I either get a key or a compass or some shit. Ow. I should have been paying more attention to what was happening. Yeah, fighting these guys aren't too bad. They can be a little testing of your patience sometimes, I find, but they're really not that difficult to... To, f to fight. I think for people doing three heart runs, they tend to prove to be a bit of a, uh, a bit of an issue, from what I understand. But in terms of uh, skeleton, evil skeleton creature designs go, I think they're pretty cool. I love the uh, giant heads and the glowing red eyes. I love the, uh, the fact they try to make them look like they have boots and a sword, uh, boots and a skirt. Sorry. Oh, I died. Oh look, that magical fairy I picked up earlier has come back to save me. Thanks for saving me, fairy. Yeah, this guy should only need a couple more hits. Oh, I didn't know you could hit him while they're in the air. That's kind of kind of funny since I couldn't do that with the uh, those lizard guards were immune. Is this a key or a compass? Please just be a key. It's a key. Boy, is in my face red. Well, it's hard to tell because it's covered in hair. But the answer is yes, it is red. I think... In one of these pots there might even... Yep. So even though I just lost myself a fairy, that's okay. Because I just get another one in return. Thank you very much. All right, so now, now that I, oops, now that I have that, I am going to uh, cut back to outside of that twisty hallway again. This time for the last time. I hope. <laughs>third time's a charm as they say <laughs> let's this should be it I think there's only three keys yet normally you would go to this area last and you would go to that well you're supposed to go to the well it's, it's not about you're supposed to you can do it at this shit in whatever order you like obviously but it's fastest to go to the the place with the um go to the place with the time song block thing first and then from there to go from uh Go from there to the other spots, get the other keys, and then come here at the very end. But we fucked that up. And, but, I mean, this is still the midway point of the, uh, of the dungeon, actually, so. This mini-boss is actually pretty brutal in some respects. It's, uh, doesn't pull a lot of punches. Not so much this fight with this guy particularly. This is nothing crazy. Whoa. I always hated the way I can fall down there, but he's fine. I guess that was just a limitation of the, you know, collision detection stuff at the time, and I'm sure Nintendo could have got it so he'd fall down and climb back up, but then they'd have to animate all that, and that's time and resources and cartridge space they probably didn't want to be worried about wasting. I also wish instead of like growing out of the ground, these guys just came down on the elevator. I don't know why they didn't do that. Maybe once again that could have been a collision detection thing. But it's little things like that. And I do wonder like a lot of the time I kind of give that stuff like sort of free passes because I imagine a lot of it's due to the limitations of the, the hardware at the time. 
Yeah, come on. Let me let me in on this action. Oh man, see that slowdown we got when he exploded? It like slowed down to the frame rate of like a real Nintendo 64. Because generally I've noticed on the emulation it's running at a pretty smooth 30 frames. Um, it would have been awesome if it was running at 60, but I don't think the physics items and or anything was designed to actually run at those sort of speeds at the time. So I can't blame them for not doing that. Alright, let's get some stuff out of these pots. A heart? Yes, please. Come here, pot. Come, come, there we go. Perfect, good, good. Lovely, lovely. Come, let me hit it. There we go. Lovely, delicious. And then last of all, this tasty little treat here. The bow. One of the best items in the game, hands down. No questions asked. Fairy bow. I don't know what's so fairy about it, but, you know, it's all good. Alright, now, the question is... What is the question you ask? The question is... Now I've got two options for directions I can go, actually. I'm in this one. I think... I'll go left, and then I'll go right. I can't... Mm, not sure. Anyway, we'll find that out next episode, because now we've got the item. That means we've hit the halfway mark, so I'll hope you join me then. I hope you're enjoying the series. Once again, let me know in the comments below. Hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.